Hi guys, this is Ronnie from Notary Stars and I'm here to answer another burning question. Uh, I see this question around notary forms uh, consistently. I see this question uh, also coming in on Notary Stars. Uh, notary Stars, we do have a blacklist of companies uh, for our members, uh, for our Notary Stars. Uh, but um, one of the things that I want to talk about today is uh, the age old question, is this a scam? Um, so there are a lot of training courses available uh, out on the internet. There are a lot of directories available out on the internet. There are a lot of signing agencies available out on the internet, and we never know if they're going to be a scam or not. So here's my take on uh, some of these companies. Um, there are two companies that I see advertising uh, consistently. Uh, one of them is actually a company called Hire Notary. I am not stating that they are a scam. However, I personally uh, contacted them and never got a response. I said, hey, I'd like to learn more about what you're doing here. Never got a response. I actually sent an email from Notary Star saying we would love to uh, bring you on to talk to our members. Um, never got a response. I invested my money into the site. Never got a signing. Um, I have a little bit more liberty owning a signing agency and a notary training company uh, to test the waters and then report back to our users, which is something that we do at Notary Stars. Um, but for you, if you're looking to make sure you don't release your dollars to people who might be taking advantage of you, number one, if they don't respond to your inquiries, you should not be giving them money. Um, if you can't see someone, pick up the phone and call someone, probably not a good idea to invest money into the site. Uh, at Notary Stars, I pay good money to people to be able to answer the phones. If I'm not available, someone is answering the phone, there's message taking and we get back very quickly if we do happen to miss a, a call at Notary Stars. Uh, same thing with my signing agency. Um, one another, another red flag that you might look for is if they have a domain, but they haven't actually set up an email address, if they're coming from like a Gmail, a, at Yahoo, um, or a domain name that you don't recognize for emails, probably not a good idea to give them money. Um, so when you're looking at scams, of course you can use internet forms and notaries are gonna chime in, uh, but you wanna make sure that you have these things in the forefront of your mind. Not every new company out there is a scam. I know when Notary Stars first started, uh, people asked, you know, are you a scam? And we got back to those emails, but um, you should do your due diligence on your own and also have this in the forefront of your mind. So that's my answer to this week's burning question. I hope this helps you guys.